Hey there, welcome to my studio. It's time for the second February update. What happened in the studio last week? Let me tell you, lots. Videos had the Sunday live stream with myself and Marta Ferguson. We did it across all three channels. We were quite proud of ourselves and had quite a lot of fun. If you would like to see that, I will put a card up there. Um, we talked about our ekphrastic adventures, the last one, and then we're starting a second one. So if you'd like to know all that, check it out. If you don't have time to listen to the whole live stream, I've got something for you. I created a digest version of that video, of the live stream, and I'll put that video card up there so you can see that. Check it out. Monday time-lapse video. Patrons, you got the early release of that, and it went live public today on YouTube. Check that out. Give it a like while you're there. That would be great. And then Tuesday went live on Instagram and did the Moody Woods you see here on my easel. It's closer. It's better. My question for you is, should I wash and redo it with something else or should I keep working on it? Let me know down in the comments. I would appreciate it. Yes, I did. What else is going on? Tonight I have my pastel play class, the third in that series of six, and we'll be working on aerial ocean waves. I'll make that appear over here. Bookshelf insert update. This is for you, cat. I put a plant in it yesterday and uh, make that also appear. It kind of looks like a Boston fern. And what tickles me most about that little project is two things. One, the red pot is was a tube insert that I kept just for some purpose. I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for, but it looks just like a plant pot. And two, the dirt in that pot that you can't see, but there's dirt in there. It's actually used coffee grounds. So that just makes my recycling heart quite happy. Upcoming, what's going to be coming up next week or so? We'll do so definitely the Monday time-lapse video where I sit down and sketch something and record it in time-lapse, make a video out of, out of it, and pay I'm also working on a redo of my Apple painting video, the one with the artist notes. They're a little long and rambly, and I've gotten a little better with videos, I'd like to think, so I'm gonna try uh, tweaking that and re-releasing it, so stay tuned. There'll be two of them. There's the condensed version and then the long version with notes. I'm gonna make them both come out at the same time. One video that I'm still, it's kind of up here, but it will be my five favorite DIY pastel tools. Things like the foam and the pencil extenders and the bamboo skewers, little things like that, that I suppose I could buy, like the mall stick, but you know, I'd rather use what I have on hand. So I'm going to be making that video soon. All right. Also upcoming is the class pastel process and I am working on the examples for that and make that come up over here. Basically I'm going to use that aerial ocean exercise that I do in pastel play. I'm going to do it again in this process on that and then we have a heart leaf painting. Here's what it looks like now. I need to get that finished. That's going to be my kind of side project when I need to do something but I don't want to work on anything That's else enough. that is um, I've been feeling really good this week, feeling like I'm in a groove and realizing that when I am in the groove, you know, enjoying things, things are moving along, I don't really stop and enjoy that feeling. So there's my advice for this week. Take a breath. If you're not in the groove, take a breath. Know you'll get back to it. And if you are in the groove, take a moment to enjoy it. All right. I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. my nose here because my nose itches. Take a breath. Sip of coffee.